Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Stephen Griffin and today we're going to be opening up the 16 inch Apple MacBook Pro. I am fucking pumped because I have been holding off on upgrading from my mid 2014 13 inch MacBook Pro for a few years now and well, Apple finally gave me a pretty good reason to upgrade. So I'm going to go more in depth on that in a future video. Uh, for right now, let's just crack open this bad boy. I'm as excited as you are. Yeah, this is a this is a true unboxing. Oh my gosh, another box, people. <laughs> so on to box number two. Where'd my knife go? Here, let's see, do we even need a knife here? I'm sorry guys, you are gonna have to put up with me because I am genuinely super excited to get this open. Oh, that was so satisfying. <laughs> I don't think there was anything else in that box. There it is. The 16 inch Apple MacBook Pro. We got the one terabyte SSD in there. Uh, we got 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, this is actually going to be the base upper model is what I'm gonna call it. Uh, so this is gonna be the $2,800 uh, model. So uh, we thought about going for the 32 gigabytes of RAM, um, but with the deal that was going on on B&H, I figured I'd save a few hundred bucks and we would just settle for the 16. Ooh, would you look at that? We don't even need a knife, people. Apple thought of that already. They have a little pull tab right here. I'm not sure if you can see that. The focus is gonna be a little spotty here, but look at that. Boom! Apple, what will you think of next? So here we are, guys, all unwrapped. And the big reveal. Come on. Come on. There we go. I'm just gonna set this to the side here. There it is. So we actually opted for the space gray and let me go ahead and sit down here. Let me get comfy. There she is, guys. The 16 inch Apple MacBook Pro. I am so excited. Without, you know what, let's just, let's just go, guys. Let's just pop this bad boy open. So we have a plastic little tab here, help lift it up just like so. And it's brilliant. Uh, my Surface Book 2 unboxing, it's almost identical. The way that Apple and Microsoft are now packaging their boxes, just this really minimalist design. Um, and I like it, I'm not complaining, but it's just interesting to see that Microsoft finally conformed and they took heed to Apple's just immense attention to detail. Here is the actual MacBook. It's definitely about as heavy as my old one. You know, I mean, that's for certain and it definitely feels just about as thick. Uh, but you also have to take into consideration that the amount of real estate has doubled, essentially, kind of, somewhat. So, there is that. So we'll go ahead and... Get rid of that. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That is a MacBook. <laughs> you know, when, when you upgrade from an older model to a newer one, you aren't as really inspired. I mean, it's a very similar design. So we're gonna go ahead and I'll show you guys first. There we go. And just like that, it's already firing on. That is awesome. And it's just, it's got that like, it's got that nice factory smell. Oh my gosh. Let me go and flip this back around and just, just look at this thing. This thing is massive. This thing, look at this. This is basic, I can hide. I can hide behind this MacBook. So, wow. So. It's wanting me to set up right now. Use English as the main language. Press the return key. No. The speaker, like the speaker holes, it's it's interesting. You can see them. Hold on, let me uh 
I'm gonna be showing you guys some close-ups as well, um, but it's like it's very smooth. You can't even feel the rivets. And I'm super excited because Apple apparently has done some really wicked awesome stuff with their speakers with this latest iteration. And just look at that trackpad. Like, what? It's, it's bigger, it's bigger than the size of my hand. That's just crazy. And I know all you uh, latest MacBook users that use uh, 2016 up, this is not news to you, but as someone coming from a mid-2014 MacBook, this thing is just kind of bananas. <laughs> um, you got the touch bar right here. Um, obviously, it's not on yet. We still need to go through the setup process, but wow, pretty freaking sleek. So let me go ahead. This is an unboxing, isn't it? So let's go ahead and just take a look at what else we got in the box here we got our charging cable here looks pretty long looks I mean it looks like decent decent size you know it'll reach um, but that actually leads me to my second package uh, we're gonna take a little detour here uh, per tradition and we're gonna open up this package here I'm actually gonna open it up upside down and I'm going to show you guys some of the accessories that I went ahead and I purchased with this Apple MacBook hey, you might consider purchasing the same. Uh, so what we've got here is we have a hyperdrive. Uh, so this is basically going to allow me to still use all of my external hard drives without getting different wires. And it also has an SD card slot, which is essential for me since I'm a photographer. So I definitely recommend getting, picking one of these up, especially if you have a bunch of external hard drives like the Lacy's. And you know, especially if, well, you're a photographer, you're gonna need an SD card slot, so might as well. I think I picked this up for like 70 bucks, something like that. So we're gonna set this to the side. Next, we have the power adapter extension cable. I'm not sure if you can actually see that there. It's the, the light's really bright, um, but we got the extension cable just because why not? You know, when you're spending upwards of three grand on a laptop, it really can't hurt just to spend an extra 30 bucks and get an extension cable so you don't have to fumble around looking for an outlet all the time. Uh, especially when you're editing in Starbucks and there's like someone sitting beside you and you don't wanna like drape your cord over them. So this is gonna help out a lot, especially in those public situations when I'm editing at coffee shops or whatever, as you do when you own a 16 inch Apple MacBook Pro. That's all we got in this box. So those are the two accessories that I got. Back to the box. So we have, I believe this is going to be the warranty card um, or perhaps a manual of sorts, probably a bit of both. So let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, we got our manual here. Beautifully designed as you would expect. Nice little pamphlet. I'm gonna set that aside and got some compliance information, very helpful. And would you look at that? We got two Apple stickers. So you can show off to all your friends, you know, slap that bad boy on your car and everyone will know that you have the latest space gray 16 inch Apple MacBook Pro. Unless they include these with all new MacBooks, I don't know. Oh well, but hey, two free stickers, that's cool. So we'll set that aside. And last but not least, we have the power bank box thing. And this is a weird observation. This thing is pretty fucking heavy. Freaking, sorry YouTube. This thing is pretty heavy. I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't know what that means or why. Uh, I mean, it feels really good. Hold on, let me, just, let me move this out of the way. We don't need this anymore, right guys? It feels really good. And I'm not sure if it's just because I've never really owned a brand new uh, Apple charger. Uh, but like the prongs even, like when you push them up and down, it's, you gotta, you gotta really force it open. So that is really, really cool. Kind of, about as cool as a charger can get, right? But yeah, it, it's got some weight to it, guys. It really does. I, I swear I'm not crazy. This is much heavier than my old charger. So hopefully there's some power there to uh, back up the weight. Hopefully the weight is justified. So we're gonna set all of this stuff aside. Um, that's basically it. That's all that was in the box. Um, but I might as well go ahead and set this bad boy up and at least show it off to you guys. Um, so 
Yeah, that was quick. Oh, let's see, do we have anything else in here? No, we don't. There's just, um, just the attention to detail, guys. There's, there's literally like a pad inside this just to kind of hold everything nice and snug. That is just stupid attention to detail. Apple, you, you're, you're crazy. All right, so as promised, we are all set up here and I'm just gonna take you a quick tour of this laptop. So as you can see, we have this just ginormous trackpad. It's about the size of my hand, um, which is just blows my mind, especially when I put my hand on my 13 inch MacBook Pro. It's, it's half the size, a third of the size. I don't even know, but it's much smaller. Um, so I'm really excited to start using this this trackpad. It, it's definitely a weird sensation being able to tap anywhere on the pad, um, unlike my 2014 model, which you can only press it at the bottom of the trackpad, so that's gonna be very unique. Um, we also have the touch bar here, which this is a redesign for 2019. We have the separated escape key and the power key with the touch ID has been separated as well. So supposedly these were some of the biggest requests, 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 or rather the biggest demands from customers over these past few years and the biggest gripes people have had about the touch bar. I am excited to get acquainted with the touch bar. I've never actually used it before. So we'll see how useful or practical it actually is. Um, I mean, I'm a believer that it is just kind of more of a gimmick but hey, I'll give them a benefit of a doubt. I'll, I'll let you know. So we also have these two speakers here and I have yet to try them out, um, but I am excited just to see uh, the sound quality supposedly. Like I said, they've done some really remarkable things with these speakers. So we also got the ports. Like I said, there's nothing really too exciting going on there. Um, but also we have the keyboard, uh, which Unfortunately, I don't have a huge opinion on because I'm coming from a 2014 MacBook Pro. So, I mean, the keyboards are extremely similar. If I could say anything, it would be that the keyboard on the 2019 just feels a little quieter, almost. But typing on both of these keyboards, they feel almost identical. So that is really interesting. Just to be able to skip that whole butterfly switch era and I'm so glad that I did, by the way, just given all the issues and all the problems, and I have been able to tap my fingers on one before, and it just didn't seem like a good time, especially for me, someone who's personally just writing and typing all the time. So hopefully, I mean, this is gonna perform just as well as my old one, um, but I'm not gonna have a huge, strong opinion on the butterfly comparison just because I did not have those model laptops. Another thing that's extremely impressive to me is just the bezels around the screen. I think that Apple did a fantastic job of just taking this design and just, I don't know, the way they were able to increase the screen size without actually increasing the dimensions of the laptop is just brilliant. I mean, you have a slightly heavier laptop, but when you compare it to the 15 inch, it's very similar in regards to the size. So if you do have a 15 inch, that is a plus, is that it is gonna fit in a lot of your bags. I'm going to have to purchase a bunch of new cases because uh, this is not gonna fit in my 13 inch laptop case, no way. So that's a bummer, but it is what it is. Um, you know, there's, there's always gonna be trade-offs when you upgrade from one piece of equipment to another. It is what it is. Um, but in regards to just the design and taking you on a walkthrough around, the one disappointing thing I can say is this is really small. There's no glowing apple. I'm gonna miss that. But it is about time I put this guy to rest. And like I said, I can't wait to start using this just in my day to day. I'm gonna have a review coming out very soon, uh, just chronicling the transition from this mid 2014 MacBook Pro to this 2019 16 inch MacBook Pro. I'm going to just be critiquing not only the 
overall experience, but I'm also going to be critiquing, well, I guess that's it really, the overall experience. All in all, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked it, give it a like. If you'd like to see more like it, give it a subscription. And I've got more videos on the way. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good one.